today I am going to be doing a review on some fine line miniature brushes, which were sent to me by Zen Art Supply. Now these are brushes that are specifically designed for fine detailing. And full disclaimer, they were sent to me for free, but I'm not getting paid to say anything nice or positive or anything like that. So these opinions are 100% my own and um, you will get a totally honest review. So I'm going to show you what is in the package and then we'll get on to a demonstration. Onward. Okay, so when you first take these out of the box, you have this beautiful little travel case that comes with it, it's canvas. And look, it looks like a gift with a nice, a nice red ribbon on it. But let's look at the box because on the box, all of the brushes that are included in this set are listed. So you get 12 brushes, you get four rounds, you get three riggers, one angled, two flat and two filberts. So you do get a really good selection of brushes and a nice variety. So let's open this up. Now I already took all of the wrappers off of the brushes in the case. However, they did come individually wrapped and they had plastic tubes on, on them to protect all the bristles. But I want to show you something that's really, really neat. Let's take a look at these handles. Okay, so these handles are designed to be more comfortable to hold. And they really are. It's actually very, very comfortable. Um, it's supposed to prevent some of the, you know, the pain and the fatigue that your hands go through when you're painting for long periods of time, especially when you're doing small detail. So this is um, the angled brush and it's really nice too because they are um, they're not supposed to lose their shape and they are they're not um, totally soft they're actually semi firm so I think that that really does help and that's a that's kind of a key thing with detail brushes as far as I'm concerned because you sometimes deal with a lot of feathering and a lot of shedding with uh, really small brushes so this is uh, supposed to be a set that doesn't do that and the other cool thing that this comes with is all of their products come with a one year warranty. I'll show you right there. One year warranty and your 100% satisfaction is our top priority. And from what I understand from people, if they did get a brush that had been damaged, when they contacted the company, they sent a new one out right away. They're very, very good with their customer service. Um, also, these brushes are not going to break the bank. So, they're supposed to be higher quality, but more affordable than some of the, cause you know how expensive brushes can be. So they have a less is more philosophy. Um, they strive to save you money while exceeding your expectations. I mean, I can stand behind that. Plus these um, brushes are vegan and cruelty free. One other thing that I will say is that I probably won't be storing these in the canvas case. And it does come with this really neat little pouch but I like, I'm, I'm afraid that um, the brushes without the plastic tubes would get damaged um, in the canvas case. So, I mean, it has this really neat little pouch. So one of the things that I have, I still have all the little plastic tubes. I will probably put them into this pouch, but I will store these in a jar. And if I want to travel with them, then I will be able to because I've got this nice little case. So now that I've talked a little bit about these brushes, I'm itching to try them out. So let's get started on doing something neat. Okay, so since it's October, I decided jack-o'-lanterns would be a really good idea for this first painting that I'm doing in acrylic. So I'm using some acrylic inks and I'm using the smallest filbert. Now the smallest filbert gives amazing line work. So after I did that, I decided to go on with the flat brush and the flat brush with a vivid orange red and really kind of paint in the coloring of the pumpkin. And once again, you get really nice crisp lines with these brushes. Um, and this is just with acrylic ink so far. I will be going on to regular acrylics later. But the first thing that I did notice about these brushes is the crisp lines. They do not feather out. They do not, um, you don't get these little stray hairs that 
kind of go out from the sides. It's um, they're very very nice. They'd be great for people who do a lot of illustrative work and who paint tiny tiny paintings for miniature paintings. So once I got all of the colors in, then I go in with the same flat brush, and I'm using a mixture of dioxazine purple and cadmium red medium to get these because these pumpkins, um, these jack o' lanterns are going to be at night, which is why I do this layering process. So um, even the the little tiny brushes, which you'll you'll see when I when I start painting on the other pumpkin, they they really are absolutely um, they hold their shape. Um, the other thing that I noticed right off the bat was the comfort. The comfort of these brushes. The design of the handle is supposed to help steady your hand, and I found that it in fact did. And I think it's because the comfort of the brushes. Um, the design of that handle is very very comfortable so look at those tiny that is the um the smallest of the round brushes that i was just using for putting the really bright highlights in the pumpkin and yeah absolutely amazing so what i did was i did use the smaller brushes to outline the pumpkins with the black and then i went in with a larger brush just to fill in the background so all of the detail work was done with the tiny brushes and of course you know i'm not going to paint all of the dark color that's the background with tiny brushes because that would just waste time but i do think that they they worked really well with acrylic inks and they worked really really well with the regular acrylics and just putting in these little tiny highlights at the top of the pumpkin and you you do you get these amazing details and i think that between the comfort of the handle and the brush, fantastic. So the next test for these brushes was oil paint. So I'm using the larger round and I am going to be first going in and getting the darks of where the eyelash line is and kind of all of the the darkest parts. Now what I did notice with these brushes with the oil paint, oh it's like butter. They do go onto the canvas like butter and you do get those fine lines even with the tip of the largest round brush. Um, it's so smooth and this is going to make things so much easier. So there I'm going in with the smaller round for some of the smaller details, especially when you when you need thin lines. And um, yeah, wow, these, these really do work well for detail work. And of course, you know, when I do portraits, I tend to put a lot of emphasis on the eyes and that's where I do a lot of detail work. And when you have really cheap brushes, you do have this kind of effect where it's like, oh, okay, this is the crappy brush that feathers a lot. I'm not gonna be using it for any line work or anything. Now, I had already used these brushes the day before for the acrylic painting of the jack-o'-lanterns and um, I had washed them, cleaned them, and dried them, and they still had maintained their shape, which sometimes when you have cheap detail brushes, even after the first use, you notice that they're kind of degrading somewhat, but these did not, and they still were, they had that semi-firm touch, which I really enjoy, especially when you're using oil paint, because you don't always want to have, um, the soft soft brushes and they're kind of just like flowing all over the place you really want to have these nice kind of semi-firm brushes so i've gone in and done all of the details on the innermost part of the eye and look at that little line brush that is the tiniest of the round brushes once again i didn't use a lot of the um the riggers in either of my paintings because i tend to use that more if i'm doing strands of hair um, I did not have any hair to do strands of hair with, so I really didn't use any of the riggers, although I, by the performance of all of the other brushes in this set, I feel like they will do a phenomenal job on individual strands of hair. And I'm using, um, the, once again, the flat brush for a lot of the kind of, um, the filling in of some of the spaces around the eye. So I'm switching between the flat brush and the different filberts and I'm also using all of the rounds as well. So the larger parts around, I did have to block in with a larger brush. So I'm just going to kind of time lapse through the blocking in of the larger areas and then I'll get back to the small brushes for putting in the eyelashes and any of the tiny details. 
Yeah, so for the larger areas, I did have to block it in with a larger brush. And I do wish I had a set of the Zen Art brushes that are for, you know, a larger set. Um, because that would have been really cool to try those out as well. But this is a, this video is focused on the miniature brushes anyway. So we'll get back into the mini brushes. Oh, I guess I did use, I did use one of the riggers. I used one of the smallest rigger for the little eyebrows. I forgot about that. How quickly we forget. So I did lie to you. I did use the smallest rigger, but I didn't use the larger ones, which I would normally use for longer strands of hair. But man, you can get some really nice eyelashes with that small rigger. All right, so the verdict is in. These brushes are amazing. Um, I really enjoyed using them. They do hold their form. And I used them for the acrylic painting first and then waited a day after they had been cleaned and they dried and then I used them to create this oil painting. But now that I've used them with oil paint, I do like to keep my oil and my acrylic brushes separate. So I put them in a jar marked oil and I will probably order another set for strictly acrylic. Anyway, these did keep their form. They're, they're really high quality and for, for the price, I, I highly recommend them. So if you'd like to try out these brushes, there's a link in the description. And yeah, Zen Art, nice job. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and I will see you next time. Love you guys, bye. <laughs>